Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know, I know the makeup looks a little crazy. I was feeling like a unicorn today. Can you guys see this crazy blue highlight I have going on? And then on my eyeballs, I have a ColourPop Supernova shadow that I want to show you. And on my lips is something new from the drugstore. So we have a ton of makeup to go through. And basically, I've been trying to do all my hauls, like collect all the makeup I buy and show it to you guys in one go. So I'm not doing like 80 hauls during each month. So I already filmed a February haul, but that was really just the beginning of February and a lot of stuff I had purchased at the end of January. So I felt like I was warranted in another haul and it is President's Day today when I'm filming this. So there have been some President's Day sales and so I may have bought more things. So it's really a rough life out here in these streets, but Let's go ahead and talk about some of the stuff I used today. So I already took it out of the packaging. In my eyeballs or in my crease is this ColourPop Single Eyeshadow. This is in the shade Poodle. And basically it's like a mid-tone pink. Honestly, I need to sit down and write all the names of all the single shadows I have. Especially from ColourPop because I usually try to hit the free shipping mark and that's how I ended up with this one and I'm gonna be really bummed if this is a repeat shade in my collection. This is what the packaging looked like. I really wanted to try out the ColourPop like Valentine's stuff so I ended up breaking into this and using it in my crease today but it was a really beautiful color. I really like the ColourPop pressed shadow formula. I pretty much have all the palettes from them and I have a lot of the singles as well. Speaking of eyeshadows, this is the Pretty Much palette, and this is a little mini palette with six shadows. They came out with this for Valentine's Day, and I pretty much blindly buy all of ColourPop's shadow palettes. I don't know if that'll change anytime soon, but I really thought these colors were really beautiful, and again, I am using some of these on my eye look today. I have this shade on as my brow bone highlight and then I blended this one in the outer V as well as this darker purple shade. So I didn't get a ton of use out of it yet but I do like these shadows. I really like their matte formula too. I, I just think they're so worth the money so I'm constantly buying ColourPop shadows. I know some people are iffy about it but I honestly think it's worth it. I do not like this packaging though. It has like a holo finger pointy. I don't know. It just looks a little bit more cheap than their other palettes. I feel like their other palettes are much better design. And then this is the outer packaging. I think it's just the color story they chose makes it look really cheap. And then there's like this weird like bow emoji. I, I don't really get it. I'm going to toss this packaging, but I wanted to show it to you guys. So I do have that little palette from ColourPop. The next thing I picked up from ColourPop is one of their Luxe lipsticks. Now, I'm not really a big lipstick wearer, but again, I wanted to hit the $30 mark, so I decided to pick up one of the colors. I was wearing it this morning, and honestly, this is so freaking creamy. I don't even like lipsticks like this, but this formula is honestly good. So if you like a traditional lipstick, you're really going to love the formula of the ColourPop lipsticks, and this is the shade. LA Lady and I love nudes like this like the really brown rosy nude so I think this is gonna be a fun color it really really glided on like I'm shocked I haven't bought a traditional lipstick in a while the last one I bought was probably the Pat McGrath ones and previous to that it's the ABH ones and um, yeah I don't really like the formula of the ABH ones so this is really good and I know I heard a lot of people say like is seven bucks really worth it I definitely think it's creamier than most drugstore lipsticks and they have a wonderful range of shades. I won't be buying any more but one is good and this is what the box packaging looks like. I'm going to toss that as well and this is so pretty, oh my gosh. Kind of reminds me of the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks actually. The last thing I picked up from ColourPop is one of their newer Supernova shades. This is the shade Lucky Penny and this is actually the super holographic eyeshadow or like liquid shadow I have on my eyeballs. I was shocked when I put this on. I even talked about it on my Snapchat. It didn't apply the best with the wand so I think I've decided if I use it again I'm just gonna put it on my hand and then like either use my finger 
or a brush and I remember when Jordan and Shannon, I believe are their names, they're like on the marketing team at ColourPop, when they um, featured, like they did a swatch party of their Valentine's collection either on like their Instagram or something and they were like, you guys can't even see how holographic this is. It really is holographic and honestly in person it's insane. I think it looks like I have like LED lights on my eyelids. I think it's so vibrant, very cool. I didn't buy any of the other new colors. I was just curious to see if they were, you know, really kind of on point with this color description. So I just bought one of those. So yeah, basically this is everything I bought from ColourPop recently. Okay guys, the next thing I wanna show you is this palette and I have been eyeballing this palette for I would say weeks which is a really long time for me because usually when I see something I just buy it and this one I kind of really wanted to like take my time I have the other Sephora collection blush and highlighter palette that they made for darker skin I love that one I think it's called Spice Market watch out because I'm gonna do a swatch video with these palettes and this is the highlight I actually have on today it's a little bit crazy but I was feeling myself and the unicorn vibe so try not to judge me I like that this is a multi-purpose palette it's not just highlighters which I think is great because I don't really want to wear a lot of colorful highlighters but I think it's nice that they gave me kind of a bold choice and then these two are pretty neutral and then I love that I can layer these over the blushes because I've been really into shimmery blushes so I think it's really cool that Sephora did something kind of different like this and also very very affordable. I did actually use my Ebates to buy this because now with Ebates you can get um, a gift card instead of a big fat check or PayPal. I used to always get the big fat check because I didn't used to use PayPal as much as I do now and uh, they actually give you a little bit extra too so I got a decent sized check for Sephora and uh, I picked this up so it didn't cost me anything which I'm pretty pumped about. Um, this video isn't sponsored by Ebates or anything but I do have an Ebates link in my description box because if you use it to sign up for Ebates I think I get like 10 bucks and like you get 10 bucks which is cool it's just free money and you just shop online um, through your PC or on your phone you can get the Ebates app and shop the reason I'm telling you guys this is because one of my really 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 good friends didn't know about Ebates and she and I love to shop together so I'm like gosh I should really mention it because hey maybe somebody will actually hear me and uh, sign up for Ebates so I'm just a regular human being, I just do this for fun, but I do have Ebates because you guys know I love to buy makeup. So anyway, this was, yeah, part of my Ebates check, so I didn't have to pay for it, which was really cool. And uh, yeah, I'm still playing with this guy, but I think it's a really cool palette. Okay guys, I did pick up some cool stuff from Wet n Wild. I think they were doing free shipping or something that made me purchase this and I decided to pick up a few of their new liquid lipstick shades. They've come out with more. I honestly love these liquid lipsticks. They are my favorite drugstore formula for liquid lipsticks. And honestly, I feel like they can compete with my high-end liquid lipsticks as well. So from the new range, I picked up this color, which is called Behind the Bleachers. I haven't used this yet. It's like a muted rosy color. Those colors are so in right now. I also bought their black because I was like, you know what? I might feel daring sometimes. So this is called So Noir Cool beautiful I just I just they're so comfortable I can't even handle it some people don't like these but I think it's cool this is from their original lineup this is goth topic I, I believe this is from the original li lineup correct me if I'm wrong and I've been wearing this color a ton this is called caramel cake and it's like a beautiful true brown shade I'm wearing this teal color today this is called the shade is teal and I just thought it would be fun with all this unicorn -ness I have going on and then this is their metallic and I picked up the shade Akai so serious and it's a beautiful like muted purple berry shade and I'm not really into metallics but since I love this formula so much and it's so affordable I decided to pick all of these up and I'm so so excited to wear these and let me know if you guys want like a little swatch party of my wet n wild liquid katsu lipstick collection I freaking love these 
Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to keep playing with these. Okay guys, the last two things I got from Wet n Wild are these guys. These are the Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Liquid Eyeshadow. Liquid Eyeshadow is like so in right now. I even picked up another brand's Liquid Eyeshadow to show you guys. But these colors just look so cool on their website that I was like, why not? I'm gonna get free shipping. This one looks like it has a duochrome. So it has like a purple and then it shifts gold. I don't know if it's gonna capture that for you guys on camera, but I'm really excited to try these out. I did have a friend reach out to me. She follows me on Instagram and is also a huge makeup connoisseur. And she said this actually made her eyes like burn and sting. Now I tried some of the shades of these from the Midnight Mermaid collection and I didn't have a problem with them, but I just wanna caution you guys because in case you have sensitive eyes, just test it out. Be careful, I don't want you guys to get hurt. This one also has a flip. It's got a blue to like a purple. So very, very cool. I love these colors. They have more colors. They also still have the Midnight Mermaid collection available on the website, but I decided to be good and just limit myself to two of these. Okay guys, so I've really been on the indie brand train lately. I don't know what it is. I think I'm just so attracted to all these like women owned brands and just like independent companies that are doing their own thing. They're not really sold at Sephora, but they're doing some really cool things and it's so colorful and vibrant. So I've just really been looking at a lot of different brands, kind of like I'd mentioned in the beginning of this video. So one brand I was really interested in last year was the brand Suva Beauty. Now Suva Beauty is a Canadian based brand and they are pretty expensive and I do believe they ship from Canada. So I was like, no way, I'm not paying shipping, blah, blah, blah. I managed to find this palette on Amazon, so I bought it. It was pretty affordable, and guess what? It came to Fargo, and I meant to film a swatch party video and review this for you guys, but I never did it. It just sat there, collected dust, collected dust, and then I saw Suva came out with these like mini palettes and I don't know if this was like a Valentine's thing or what but they were advertising this and I was just like instantly hooked. I just loved these colors and I'm gonna blame all of this on Angelica because she's gotten me really into color. In case you guys don't know who Angelica is, she is one of my favorite YouTubers and she is linked in my description box in case you want to check out her channel for color inspiration but she's really got me hooked on color and when I saw this palette I literally died because I was like oh my gosh like look at this orange look at this yellow like so so vibrant you guys I don't even know where to swatch okay just look at my finger swatches let me swatch the purple as well as the glitter purple I I'm just obsessed mostly with these three shades but I cannot wait to play with this palette and then Suva Beauty does free shipping when you spend $50 on their website and uh, I was feeling particularly excited that day and I was like you know what I'm gonna go on like a low buy after I buy Suva Beauty so I'll just get all the palettes I want and so I ended up buying the Cupcakes and Monster palette which I had originally wanted from them anyway it's just that I didn't want to pay shipping for these plus they're 50 bucks so they're not cheap, but you get a ton of product. These are made for like professional makeup artists that probably like color because if you are a professional makeup artist and you don't like color or your clients don't like color, you're probably not gonna use this a whole lot. Girl, this palette spoke to me on a spiritual level. So of course I had to go on YouTube and watch some of my favorite YouTubers swatch this palette. And uh, yeah, basically I bought this palette because I really wanted this four pan palette. And so I just splurge and got everything. So I have everything I've ever wanted from Suva Beauty and I'm so freaking pumped because I'm gonna play with these and review them and try and give you guys some tutorials and stuff with this. So very, very excited. So I have Cupcakes and Monsters, Neutral Necessities, and then I think this one is called the La La Land or something, but oh my gosh, so excited. Check the box for trying out Suva Beauty in 2018. So I did get an Ulta coupon in February and I was like, what should I buy? I wasn't really like in the mood for anything from Ulta like makeup wise. Also, I'm really pissed because I got a Christmas gift and it was a scent that I already had in my collection. So I returned it to Ulta and uh, they gave me a store credit, but it can only be used in store. I thought that was a little bit ridiculous. Like 
slightly annoyed. So I have like this $100 gift card to Ulta that I can only use in store. Which is really frustrating because my Alta doesn't always get like some of the newer things. But my husband also got me an Alta gift card so I decided to put it towards this purchase because I was really curious. I really want to have dermaplaning done like professionally but ain't nobody got time for that. And I found this medical grade dermaplaning tool by the brand Michael Todd Beauty. And it basically says it removes peach fuzz, facial hair, and dulling dead skin to instantly reveal a smoother brighter complexion for all skin types including sensitive so it comes with the sonic smooth and then like a face wash and a bunch of blades and stuff like that and i really want to film myself trying this so we'll have to see it's got to be a day where i'm in the mood for this i did watch a few reviews on this already but I'm sure you guys are interested in hearing my review, so yeah, we'll do this together sometime. So it's still sealed up because I don't know when I'm going to use it, but it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Okay guys, the next item I picked up, I'm actually kind of ashamed that I bought this, but I was so freaking curious because, I mean, it's a boombox. Like, are you serious right now? So this is MAC x Jeremy Scott and it's very like 90s themed. I only bought the eyeshadow palette. Only bought the eyeshadow palette but I was just so curious and you guys I'm already going to tell you that this is going to get returned. I just want to show it to you because I have it and I'm probably going to swatch it for you guys so you can see a swatch party on this from me but this is ridiculous. This was $75 and uh, this is how much eyeshadow you get. I feel like it's definitely the packaging that you're paying for. I feel like it's cool. Like, I want to keep it in my collection because I have the Jeremy Scott, like, Moschino Bear over there. But again, that palette, I never freaking use it because I didn't buy it for the eyeshadows. I definitely bought it for the packaging. So I'm like, am I willing to pay $75 for this eyeshadow palette? Uh, currently no and again he went for like really colorful shades which is exactly what the other palette looks like as well very colorful palettes so yeah I don't know we'll see unless the swatches turn out like freaking blow my socks off um, I have a feeling I'm gonna be returning that palette as soon as I'm done playing with it okay guys next thing I got are some magnetic Ardell lashes. Now I was gonna film trying these on for the first time but I actually ended up trying them on Instagram so if you don't follow me on Instagram you probably should. It was kind of a disaster but one of my really really sweet friends Annette she wears false lashes and magnetic lashes and she gave me a little tip so I'm gonna attempt to try these again. I should have just done it today for this video or before this video but I forgot all about it so I actually got this pair from Ulta and then I found these ones for $7.99 at TJ Maxx. Can somebody please explain to me why there's like similar products for discounted prices at TJ Maxx. Like I thought it was just like discontinued items that you could find at TJ Maxx but clearly I was wrong about that. So you guys if you haven't been living under a rock you've probably heard about the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and they launched, I don't know how many shades they launched but they did expand the line. So they originally started off with two and my stupid brain thought that one of those shades would actually work for me so I actually bought it but it's like way too light. So I was kind of apprehensive because I'm like you know what screw physicians formula because they don't cater to people with my skin tone or maybe even lighter than me but definitely not darker than me. You're not gonna find anything pretty much. But I saw this at my local Walmart. This is the butter bronzer in the shade deep bronze. This is the shade deep bronze. I just want you guys to uh, fathom that and uh, once I got it out of the packaging I'm like oh my gosh this is so freaking light it's not going to work but it actually does show up on my skin I am really pale right now let me show you guys so this is my bronzer that I'm wearing today which is MAC Give Me Sun now MAC Give Me Sun is definitely known for being more orange but still this is really freaking light and this is called deep bronze I'm actually kind of depressed for the world 
that this is considered a bronze and then this is the bronzer I wear in the summertime which is NARS Casino and I'm not even that dark so I just really wish that Physicians Formula would step it up a little bit. I am obsessed with like coconut anything so I couldn't resist because I was not going to buy this in like protest for like everyone that can't wear this bronzer. I'm just I just can't believe that that is their deep bronze shade my gosh so I'm gonna use this in my collection see how I feel about it if it actually works with my skin tone I gotta test it out also I figured if it doesn't work for me I can throw it in my makeup kit because sometimes I do makeup for like proms and weddings and stuff like that so I don't know it's interesting it is very strong though so if you don't like a strong scent you're not gonna like that blush another thing I picked up from Walmart, actually everything else in this haul is going to be from Walmart, are these e.l.f. post-workout cleansing body wipes. And uh, these are cool because they're basically built for like when you go to the gym and after you're done at the gym, you don't want to take a shower. But you can use these to clean your body. I actually used these to clean my face the other day when I came home with these. And it did a perfectly good job. I mostly bought this for the really cool packaging. And I really wanted to buy this when I saw it launch on Elf's website, but I didn't want to pay for shipping, so I never did it. But when I saw it at Walmart, I was like, come here, come home with me. So, very exciting. Um, when I bought the Sephora Holographic Palette, I did get a sample of the Marc Jacobs Shameless Foundation. Now, I really wanted to try this, and I wanted to buy it, but I was like, Karen, you really don't need any more foundation. So, I'm really glad I was able to snag a sample now i don't know if this shade will work for me but i got medium y390 which looks a little light but you never know sometimes with mark jacobs it can oxidize i used to love the one that came in the dropper and everyone bitched about that packaging but that foundation was so full coverage it was kind of awesome i could never get my shade right though so i never repurchased it I decluttered it and so I was apprehensive to buy another foundation from him but this says shameless youthful look 24 hour foundation with SPF 25 apply 15 minutes before sun exposure and reapply at least every two hours for external use only keep out of eyes okay so this is one of those where if you want the SPF to stay active you have to reapply every two hours which I'm not going to do but hey something's better than nothing so I'm excited oh my gosh so I'm excited to try out that formula. Really excited because I picked up a L'Oreal sponge. I use this one to death. I had one previously, used it up, ripped it to shreds, threw it out, and I was like, oh, I have so many sponges. I'm not going to buy a new one. But I was at Walmart, and I was like, you know what? It's going to be nice and affordable at Walmart. So I picked it up. I love this sponge, you guys. You really don't need to buy beauty blenders anymore because the drugstore has answered our prayers and given us really awesome makeup sponges. So I would 100% recommend this one. The one by Flower Beauty is really good. The one by Eco Tools is really good. And I also really like the Real Techniques one, the orange one. I heard Casey Holmes talk about the fact that she uses the body one on her face. And ever since I heard her say that, I can't find the giant ones to save my life. So that's on my list to pick up next is the big size one because I want to try and use that to do my foundation. She just said it made foundation application really fast. And I was like, ooh. A good idea why didn't I think of that you know what I'm saying why did I think of that next I'm so excited to do a swatch party of this one the other one was sold out I was gonna buy these on Milani's website but I just could not bring myself to pay 20 bucks for both of them and uh, so then I saw this on the Walmart shelf and I was like oh well you're there so I might as well buy it plus I saw Emily Noel give these palettes a really good review so I was really freaking excited so I bought it shame on me and then I was so excited because you guys I love freaking Milani's highlighters so I bought both of these because I could not pick looks like there might be a number one I only picked up holographic beams and rose glow oh my gosh let me just open this and swatchy swatchy for you guys Yummy. I just love Milani's highlighters. 
I don't know about these blue highlighters, you guys. I don't really think I can pull them off. I'm okay with wearing them on camera when I'm filming YouTube videos, but I don't feel like they're the most flattering for my skin tone. But you know what? Ain't no, ain't no shame, girls. Just do your thing. Uh, but this is really cool, and it is sealed. So let me see if I can get it open so I can show you guys. And I can't remember how much these were. They were definitely under $20. But uh, Milani is pretty up there in price. The only thing I can tell you guys, if it makes you feel any better, if you're wanting to invest in Milani, is that I've never really found like a bad product from them. Pretty much everything they sell is super good quality. So yeah, I wouldn't hesitate if you see a Milani highlighter, I would say buy it because their circle highlighters, I don't have one here, but I know I have four of them in my highlighter drawer, are amazing. So definitely, definitely check those out. Okay, guys, almost forgot. I did stop at Target today on my lunch break. Those lunch breaks really get you, man. So I bought one of these. This is the Nail Polish Remover Dip It. Maximum Strength Built-In Scrubber that removes glitter and gel polish from natural nails. This was like $1.89. At Target, I usually buy the Sephora brand one, which is like $9, and I'm like, Karen, get your shit together, try one from Target, so this is just the Up and Up brand, and uh, it feels like there's a lot of nail polish remover in there, so I will report back on how that works out. I also bought two products from the brand Pixie. I was just really, really curious because they come up with a lot of new stuff, so I got one of their Matte Last Liquid Lipsticks in the shade matte beige and I also got one of their liquid fairy lights they had a few different colors pixie is one of those brands that I feel like is so expensive in the drugstore like this glitter thing was 15 bucks and I was like seriously so they had some beautiful colors I picked up this like yellow gold shade I don't even know if you can see that but it did apply really beautifully definitely not clunky or um, really really big flakes more like um, micro size shimmers so I might have to pick up more of these I'm interested in trying this out on my eyeball so we will see it really applied beautifully on my hand so I'm excited for that and uh, do you guys want me to show you the liquid lipstick shade I've seen people talk about these all over the internet and so I'm like well I'll just buy one and see it has that really nice doe foot so that's promising and as per usual I have nowhere to swatch um, but this is a pretty color it's like a I mean it's called matte beige and uh, that's kind of what it is it's like a matte beige color it has a hint I feel like of rose to it but I like the packaging and it's nice and sleek so we'll see I've heard it's really comfortable it has this nice doe foot so yeah, really, really excited to try that out as well. And then I picked up some nail polish because I'm a nail polish junkie, even though I have no nail polish on my nails today. This color I have been trying to hunt down forever. This is the Sally Hansen Color Therapy with Argan Oil in the shade Th Therapy, Therapy, whatever. I don't know how to say this. This is the color. It's so pretty. It's like this beautiful shimmery green, silvery yumminess. I've seen people put that on their nails and it looks really good. From the Essie Summer Collection, I had to pick up this shade. This is called Stripes and Sales. I love anything green on my nails. So of course I bought it. And then this is another one from Sally Hansen. I couldn't say no to this color. It's called Slicks and Stones. It reminds me of the Wet n Wild Katsu liquid eyeshadow I bought. It's like purple with like a gold shift. So this is going to be fun. I think I want to paint my nails that color. And then they had a some kind of line called like Mirage something by Essie. And they had these two shades that have a heavy duochrome in it. I'm really attracted to the blue because it has like a golden shift in it. But I also bought this peachy color because I was like, well... I like to live on the edge, so let me try both of those and see what happens. And then I bought my favorite top coat ever. This is the Essie Gel Top Coat. And I just use it with non-gel, like, with their non-gel line. So I'll just use this over just, like, the regular Essie nail polish. Any nail polish, I'll just top this off. And it's super fast drying, 
So I love this and it helps keep the nail polish on my nails. So my nails, I feel like, don't chip as quickly when I'm wearing this top coat in case you guys needed a top coat recommendation. Now, I am not a nail expert by any means, but I thought I would give you guys that feedback because I've been buying that Essie top coat probably since it came out a few years ago. I'm not sure exactly when, but I feel like it's been around for like two years at least. So good. Okay guys, that is everything in my February haul. So this is my February haul number two. I might have one more, otherwise it'll be a March haul. I'm trying to just collect everything and like condense my hauls so I don't have like 50 hauls going up. So you guys don't have to like sit and watch like 80 haul videos. I want to do more like haul revisited videos so I can review these products that I buy for you guys and hopefully just make my channel better in 2018. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Bye guys.